All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in uh, the patch notes once again. We're joined by Drew once more. How's it going, Drew? It's going well. Um, excited to see what they have for Worlds patch. Right, right. Uh, yeah. but we got the janitor thresh and stuff. So it looks like some other stuff too. Is that Poppy or something? I don't know. Maybe. Mundo, Mundo. There's an Azir. The apparently this is a uh, uh, yes in line. Where it's like broadcast, uh, broadcast yeah. Raven. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't even realize it was that one. Pugma, yeah, yeah. got some stuff Pugma. there. Yeah, Let's I guess go. Pugma's in this. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Renata Glask, maybe? No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, we're doing fourteen patch fourteen eighteen uh, notes today, of course, and it says it's the official patch of Worlds twenty twenty four. So this is going to be uh, the patch, obviously, that Worlds is playing on. It's actually coming up pretty soon. Here, it's what the end of the month i think right yeah 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 it's in uh like it's earlier starts. this year than normal yeah, yeah. playing starts at the end of this month yeah yep yep and we've got the overview here of course the highlights uh, attorney is here that's the other one yep yep that's coming out we've got crystallis indominus nautilus too that's gonna look pretty interesting i think i haven't really checked it out yet but um yeah uh also i think arena is leaving by the way so just uh idea of that we also are about a week late on the release of the patch but um that's fine we're not worried about it it's just <laughs> we, uh, yeah we got together in the end here and then we've got the rank split split two end and split three start times are coming up here so all that stuff is going to happen right around midnight on the 24th of september and it's obviously changed depending on your time zone um but yeah that's all that stuff there um we're bringing uh, updated Q dodge and ready check penalties live to all right regions this patch. So there we go. They begin with the penalties begin with Q lockouts and escalate to bans. Um, so yeah, just uh, don't be dodging so much. Don't be declining so much. And uh, league transfers, uh, out count transfers will now have a 90 day cooldown. So uh, you got to be careful about that. Um, yeah. Seems pretty good. Seems um, pretty normal. It was pretty normal. And then uh, Clash is happening. Uh, oh, wait, it already happened. I think. Wait, what? We're aware of Clash issues that happened in some regions on the weekend of August 31st. Uh, and then we are... Players impacted were not charged for Clash tickets and are working on manually get creating rewards based on games the player won. We apologize for any inconveniences. So there you go. Uh, <clears throat> champions. Uh, you want to start us off or shall I? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll go. I can do Ari. I know okay. an Ari player, so yeah. I, can, I can go with Ari. All right. Uh, let's see. So with Ari. Um, can you still see okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. We are doing a slight buff here to her charm so it's going from 60 ap to 75 ap ratio okay um it's pretty good and then the base damage does go up um every rank past rank one so it goes up by 10 20 looks like 30 and then 40 so actually by max rank uh once you get some items this will be in quite a bit harder than than you're used to so yeah, it's Those, quite a bit of a nerf, uh, especially on the the late game scaling. Yeah. But um, even just yeah. like when you when you max it and stuff, uh, it's a little weird. So yeah, um, but yeah, uh, up next, actually, I don't know. It definitely hurts her, but uh, it is trying. You aren't you aren't really spamming this out, so I don't think it's like crazy. But it definitely definitely is pretty nice. Um, yeah, of a buff. Sorry, my brain's everywhere. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Uh, Aurora uh, is up next. We got the, her R getting, I believe, a nerf here. Yes. Uh, R between worlds. Maximum jump distance is getting nerfed from 400 jump distance to 250. So she jumps a lot shorter, of course. And then the wall jump forgiveness was going from 700 range to 450. So, you, yeah, obviously. Um, and then duration was 3 to 4 seconds based on rank, 3 to 3.5 to 4, and now it's 2 to 2.5 and, and 3 seconds based on rank, so just a whole second down, a uh, whole second less that you are locked in there for, which I think is probably good because it is one of those lockout things, but eh, um, overall just nice nice nerfs to that big AoE um, or her primary engage, and yeah, it's definitely a big hit. What do you think? Fine? No, yeah. yeah. 
I think it's I think it is a pretty good nerf because the range uh maximum jump distance and then wall jump forgiveness, I think that could I feel good Aurora players know how to abuse that, so that could be that could be the the bigger part of the nerf than just like the straight duration. Um duration will definitely obviously hurt too, but um Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think it is a good nerf. It's... And then uh, Azir is up. Oh, I'm sorry. That's you. My bad. <laughs> yeah. So surprisingly, I think they are. Is this a nerf or a buff? Because normally they buff Azir before Worlds. So let's see what they're doing this time. Um, damage is going from 50 to 110, and it's staying 50 to 110. So the base damage is the same. And then the AP ratios. Um. Okay, so this is a nerf, because it used to give you 55% AP scaling all the time, um, I guess, and now it's giving you, like, you have to rank it to get access to 55% AP scaling at max rank, so it's going to be 20% less at rank 1. Gotcha. So, yep, nerf. Yeah, uh, definitely a nerf for sure, and that's what it says as well, but it seems to be more aiming at like early game, like you're saying, so... Yeah, definitely um, early game, yeah. Not too bad, but yeah, definitely definitely nerfs for sure, um, which I think is fine. I don't think he was OP or anything, but I mean, kind of preemptive maybe, um, to make sure he's not like pick ban at Worlds. May still be, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never know. Um... But yeah, uh, quirky. Uh, Q frost first bomb is going. Let's see the damage. The flat damage is getting nerfed later ranks. Uh, every rank past level one, it's get it's down, and then uh, that's just it. So it's down by twenty at max rank. Um, flat damage, but I mean it has the AP and AD scaling, so this is really not going to matter much. Um, maybe a little bit in early game, but not realistically. I believe he does max his Q though. I'm not sure. Not sure if it's an E max now though. Because uh, I know that was meta for a little while. But either way, uh, definitely a little hit there. We've got the R Missile Barrage damage nerf here. We have flat damage going down by uh, 20 points at rank 2 and 40 points at rank 3. That's for each of those missiles, of course. Um, so just the flat damage gets nerfed quite a bit there. It's not too big of a deal because at level 16, I think you're fine. But uh, <laughs> it is also getting that 70, uh, the 10% less bonus AD scaling as well, so it's going to be 70% bonus AD instead of 80, which definitely does hurt quite a bit. Um, so yeah, just knocking Quirky down as well, ahead of time. Um, I think yeah. it's fine. I think they're just trying to make him, because he, he's been pretty much like picked every and, single time, so yeah. I, think, I think it's just to bring him a little, like not get rid of him, but just make him slightly, slightly less. Definitely. Yeah, so I think it's fine. Should be all right. Uh, big change is here. Three attack damage from <laughs> given to Nar. All right, it's over. Uh, yep, there you go. Uh, yep, I, uh, that's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice for him. Um, he's a he does rely on that. I think a lot because the auto is a, a crazy amount. So yeah, true, 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 true. Just fine. So they're increasing it uh, as compensation for the recent fleet footwork nerfs as well. So ah, uh, okay. All right, uh, Huey is up next. Another small change here, just the WW ability. Uh, pool of Reflection, ally shield strength was reduced by 50%. Now it's only reduced by five, 25%. So um, basically, uh, they're making it so that Hawaii, Hawaii support players are um, a little bit more useful. So, yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. pretty much it. <laughs> We've got Ivern, um, who actually has been getting picked. Yeah. Kind of here and there throughout the year, so... Ivern, they are LS lowering. Yeah, they're <laughs> lowering the shield strength at every rank by ten, and oh. then they're lowering the slow percent by five at every rank. So it'll uh, soak a little bit less damage and slow a little bit less. So again, I think they probably don't want to like delete him from the meta, but no. they're just trying to make it so he's not quite so quite so strong. Yeah, for sure. And his shield is definitely the the like I think probably one of the strongest parts of his his kit. Definitely, yeah, yeah, pretty nice nurse there. It's nothing like super huge, but definitely hits him quite a bit. Um, especially flat damage being like since he doesn't build like a ton of AP. Uh, generally speaking, 
he's more like enchantery um so yeah, yeah that'll definitely have hit him a little bit more as well although it's not, 10 points isn't the end of the world either but yeah definitely uh jarvin the fourth we got uh his passive martial cadence uh the current health damage on that is going from seven percent to eight percent now so they're just kind of bumping it back up a little bit more so he's a little bit more valuable as a pick and uh yeah just really nice for him nice little almost quality of life but not quite it's like definitely meaningful damage but <laughs> uh yeah it's good I, uh, this is fine i think should be fine should be fine <laughs> Jax, what do we got with Jax? Um, it's all changes to his R. So okay. they are the base armor gives you is up by ten at every rank. So three at at all three ranks rank ups. Uh, the magic resistance you get is also increased at all three ranks. So instead of nine to thirty nine, it's fifteen to forty five. Mm -hmm. Um. The damage is up by 10 at every rank. And armor per additional champion hit. So, like, I guess his stacking armor, based on how many people he hits, like if he yes. jumps into yep. a bunch of people, um, is also up um, 20, 25, 30. So it mm -hmm. used to be 15, 20, 25. So just overall, they made his alt uh, make him pretty much a great deal tankier across all types of damage so because with the armor granted magic resist up armor per hit on champion and then they give him a little bit more damage too so his arms is going to be stronger in basically every way it's fine yeah 100 percent. and obviously you do get some of this as mr as well so it's like just huge nerfs just across the board for him or not nerfs uh buffs uh, yeah, across yeah, the board yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. for him which is super nice so yeah, he's going to be really good. I've been thinking of pick, picking him up a little bit more myself, and uh, he's definitely strong and get, getting stronger. So, obviously, yeah. uh, Ben buffs for Worlds here, so um, could be seeing a, a BLG championship here, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe yeah, it'll just be sure. Banmore. Banmore, yeah. 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 Uh, but, yeah. Uh, pretty nice, super nice for him actually. Um, and then Jace is up next. We got Q to the skies. Uh, the slow is increased on that ability for with his hammer form, um, up by five percent at every rank, which is just like a nice little tap there. It's not really crazy, but pretty nice for him for sure. Um, and then uh, the E acceleration gate, the bonus movement speed is also up by five percent at every rank. So pretty, pretty nice little bumps to him, but nothing like game changing or anything. I would, wouldn't say. Yeah, no, not not too crazy. When he's like really strong, he he takes over pro play. So I yeah. want to be like conservative here. Exactly. Um, yeah, pretty fine. Yeah. Pretty fine. I would have to um, I'll have to see if this ends up being. It seems like a small deal. It's just yeah. attack speed growth is up by 0.4 percent. Um, so I don't know if like it'll actually end up being a big deal. I suspect not on Jinx here, but uh, there you go. It's 0.4% increase of attack speed on, uh, on Jinx. Yeah, per level as well. So Yeah, per level. So that's what I mean. Maybe it adds up over, you know what I mean? If it adds up over the game. So maybe it's a big deal, but I don't, I feel like probably Yeah, not. it's hard to say for sure, but it's definitely nice. And without having like lethal tempo and stuff, which is her or main key stone that level. they took out of the game, which is, it definitely helps a bit. Um, so... Or, I don't know. I don't think she'll be OP. Um, I think other champions are still probably generally better, but like she's always been that thing where she's like really pretty weak early overall, but uh, if you can let her scale 25, 30 minutes or more, she's definitely a threat <laughs> without getting behind. That is, uh, yeah. Um, and this will make it even more, so yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Leona is getting her base stats updated a little bit here, so her base armor is going from 47 to 43, because she is very popular in, in that support pool uh, right now, so yeah. Um, I think there's also Warmog's nerfs this patch, I believe, so that combined with this base armor nerf is going to definitely knock her down quite a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I this think it's true. Expertise, but, uh, so. <laughs> she's, she's, still, she's still, like, probably... In my opinion, pick ban. Um, okay. Regardless. Like best, okay. Yeah, best support. I think. I think this will make it a little bit easy to punish her early. For sure. Um, yeah. Which it is, is nice high armor too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I think it's. Uh, I think it is a good change. Maybe some other. 
champions like supports can can kind of come into the meta but i think she'll still be pretty much the best pick yeah is it uh still w max back in, like back in the day or yeah still w max yeah okay just checking yep, all right yep. cool, cool, cool. um cool cool lilia we're getting uh a decrease across the board on the well actually monster damage cap so it used to be 70 to 100 base on level now it's 65 at all levels um so i think that's a nerf right um, monster damage cap yeah it's, it's like, a nerf. Yeah. yeah 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 okay so it's a 65 at all levels that's her passive um yep. and then the r is also getting nerfed um it used to be able to do 2.5 seconds of sleep um at max rank and two it was two and then 2.5 in max rank now it's just two in all ranks so um nice. the duration of that i think that's a good change because it was pretty oppressive um yeah <laughs> but yeah i think that's fine those are fine changes and i think it'll slow her clear a little bit so i don't think it's yeah definitely she still obviously clears fast i actually just played uh yesterday i got autofill jungle and um I ended up out farming her after like 25 30 minutes because I was just like gapping her, obviously, because I'm the best. But, no, anyways, uh, <laughs> but yeah, she definitely was like always up CS. Um, it's just really easy for her to, to farm quickly. Yeah. So that was regardless of this. This is after the change, of course. So she still farms good, but definitely not as hard for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, good stuff for that. Definitely needs a bit of nerfs, I would say. But she's all right. Um, Lissandra's up next. She got it. She's getting another. Uh, Q, what is this? Oh, this is a nerf actually this time around because last time they buffed it up. Um, so the Q ice shard damage, the flat damage is unchanged, but the AP scaling is down uh, to 75% from 80%, 85%. So down by 10% uh, there on the AP scaling, which is definitely pointed towards her like scaling more than her actual um, her like early game damage or anything. Yeah, 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 definitely. But, yeah, definitely, definitely a pretty decent hit she spans out quite a bit as well so um definitely meaningful but um i think she'll still be okay she still has the same all the, like, kit all the more reason that I, I know the pros always pick lissandra as an re counter so with the re buff oh, and lissandra yeah. nerf there they're really trying to uh <laughs> help figure re out here they got the zero yeah. but well not buffs yeah. but you know uh re buffs <laughs> yep, 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 exactly yep um They're pushing Lulu. the t1 versus blg i guess um, yeah, yeah yeah for the final maybe uh <laughs> so lulu is Our girl getting more damage per bolt um and you do get multiple bolts like three this, right or... yeah there's three of them okay um so that's pretty good um she'll just hit a little bit harder um yeah so... i would say i would say this okay. coupled with leona um nerf is kind of nice because i used to see it and i would pick lulu a lot into leona okay. it's like a kind of a good counter um, oh okay because it's polymorph but it just, or... yeah polymorph when she comes in and then gotcha. you can just like poke her out but re like it's, it's just recently felt like leona just runs you over but now maybe with this extra damage and then the leona armor reduction like maybe now this is like a playable kind of matchup again so I'll yeah, have to, try, have to try that out actually. Yeah, definitely super nice. And obviously, even at rank one, that's up by two damage, which multiplied by three is like six extra exactly. damage per auto. Yeah, so exactly, exactly. Pretty, pretty nice there for sure. Um, maybe we'll see some. There's no way it's coming back fully, but you know, Arden Sensor meta. Uh, or Ooh, something like that. you never know. <laughs> the, I I was actually played with a a Sona support the other day, and the heals from like Echoes of Helia plus like Moonstone and all that was pretty yeah. nutty to be honest so yeah yeah, yeah. It, it could happen um anyways malphite is up next we got his uh passive granite shield which gives him a, the shield strength of course is going to be uh 10 of maximum hp instead of nine percent so just an extra one percent added on top which is super nice for him uh i actually do think he's pretty underutilized he's pretty op overall but situational for sure still i'd say but yeah i like him he's good so this is just an extra nice buff for him yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. Um, Maokai, a couple changes here. So with Maokai, um, they are buffing his damage on his Q. Um, pa oh, wait. Buffing? No, 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 no. Sorry, nerfing, nerfing. It's going from 65 to 265, and now it's 65 to 245. So everything past rank 1 
is nerfed. Um, it looks like the scaling is untouched. So um, this is going to probably slow his clear down a little bit. Um, his sapling toss is also getting an increase in its cooldown. Um, from 16 to 12 seconds to 18 to 14 seconds, so two additional seconds at every rank. Hmm. Um, and then the duration in bushes. Okay, so it'll actually... I actually didn't know that, that it scales the amount of time they live in the bush scales with the... Yeah, I forgot about safety. this. <laughs> I forgot about that, so they'll live less. Um, which I actually think the it, at least if, because again, these are all probably pro focus changes. The saplings are the most OP thing in the pro game because they're like free, um, like wards basically. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think that nerf is is a bigger deal than the bramble smash um, for sure. Yeah, I would say so for sure. I don't think it's like the end of the world, but definitely no. some some nice hits for him for sure. Yeah, uh, meaningful definitely. So yeah. Uh, perfect. All right, and then uh, Misfortune's getting a two AD base AD nerf here, so from fifty five to fifty three now. Um, I think she got a like, three or something previously buff, so um, we're getting plus one still technically. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> I believe I might, might be wrong about that, but I think so. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, there you go. Just a nice little bump there. It's not the end of the world. It's just it's fine, but she does she does auto a lot obviously, and everything scales off of it, so definitely hits hurts her so uh this is definitely going to be a mid nasus nerf it's a, well in my opinion it's more of a an ap slash a ram but yes i agree 100 <laughs> percent. yeah let's see so the damage on nasus e uh <laughs> is down by 5 15 it's down 20 24 yeah so it's down pretty significantly at every rank yeah for the e um, 45 damage at rank one, I, I rank five, I believe. Which yep. you are maxing it super early, I don't think, but I don't know what the the mid lane thing is that you're talking about, though. The max. Yeah. It says um, last I think max, it is... but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But Nervin is conventional last max ability. Yeah, I'm not sure if I feel like he buffs. I think I feel like when he goes AP, he builds this like crazy. Yeah, this is but... his first for sure. Um, and then damage per second is down every rank as well. So that's gonna hurt. Um, lot, yeah. yeah, people have been playing in mid, like mid lane Nasus a lot. So um, yep. this is gonna be a way to try and send him back top, I guess. <laughs> uh, what I what I will say is that um, the, I think the like pro type mid lane uh, Napsis that we've seen generally in like LCS and such has been more like the Q Max, the like Bruise rebuild um, with like Trinity Force and stuff. So it's not really AP, um, which does mean that this is even more impactful as well because you're not building the AP to make up for that damage loss. Um, but this is very lo super large nerfs on Nasus E. Um, there's no way to go about it without looking at it like that. Cause, uh, yeah. But yeah, I would say it's probably more of an ARAM nerf than anything unintentionally. But um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the the pro mids are like maxing this like second or like putting several points in. But it's it's meaningful damage even that like three points in it. Um, a nerf so it's pretty big it's kind of sad to see honestly but it is what it is i guess <laughs> they want champion diversity and then they nerf it into the ground if they see it <laughs> yeah but not that not, not season that. no <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of sad but it is what it is uh rel is up next we got the full tills uh, do you want to take this one actually or, or uh... uh yeah i can take rel i've been playing rel kind of recently so yeah. um they're nerfing e which is her movement speed ability right okay. um it is max bonus movement speed it's going from 12 to 20 percent now it's 12 to 16 percent okay. it's down every rank past rank one um and then it also gives your ally uh, movement speed as well um towards uh, enemy or ally so the movement speed that it's giving your ally is also nerfed past rank one um it used yeah. to be 24 to 40, now it's 24 to 32. Um, and then the initial movement speed burst is unchanged, so that hasn't been hit. So um, they say that Emax has been optimal for a while. Uh, um, okay. But I did not know that. I always do Max <laughs> and then do E second. So, um, okay. 
but yeah so i guess i guess the pros were building emacs and it was a little bit too much movement speed it, it was pretty nice because it sped you and your ally up which is uh really nice yeah it is a lot of around. move speed for sure yeah. yeah it is a lot of move speed so i could see why why they definitely want to hit that yeah definitely nerfs for her i don't know if it's like really gonna be crazy but it's definitely decent size i would say um yeah 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 but yeah i don't think she's like super super high prio either though but i know she's meaningful it's just i don't know if she's like top top of support you know like leona or, or maybe nautilus or something like that so no i think she's like a tier right below them basically. Yeah, yeah yeah so definitely hits her though for sure interestingly enough um but yeah uh okay we got rumble up next <clears throat> uh q flame spitter uh let's see the flat damage is nerfed early basically at max rank it's unchanged um but down by 20 points rank one and you know 15 rank two 10 rank three and so on um at max ranks it's unchanged and then the ap scaling also of it it was 110 percent ap so now it's 100 percent ap scaling uh everything else is unchanged um so yeah just hitting the base damage and the ap scaling there uh definitely a nice nerf there especially early game um i think overall that's fine it does seem sound like 60 sounds like really low damage for a, a spell though it does but i think it's okay because this spell is very very oppressive plus you can auto attack while you're casting it True. Um, at the same time, so I think it's probably a fine overall, but yeah, definitely nice nerf there, um, <clears throat> which I am in favor of. <laughs> uh, e Electro Harpoon, the flat damage is the only thing changed here, it's just down by five flat damage every rink. Um, honestly, that's not that big of a deal, but no, that one should be fine, yeah, yeah, definitely some, some nerfs to rumble. I hear he's actually like secret OP, but I haven't really seen it much. Uh, maybe in other regions, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, Samira's up next. You got this. Let's see. Samira, Q. Um, eh, base damage is unchanged, but the scaling percent off of AD is going from 85 to 125 to 95 to 125 so it is let's see it nice. looks like it is a buff yep every single rank and then it's the same at max rank so it'll just be more damage uh all the way through the game until this is maxed out yeah definitely just like early game buffs for this this is her first max as far as i'm aware so um, yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. This is, it should be like at right, what we bring nine or so. You should get this maxed out. So it'll it'll be every 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 rank until nine. You're gonna be just straight up stronger than before. So pretty nice buffs for her. Not like super crazy, but definitely a decent amount because it is just eighty. So it's like bonus plus your your base, I believe. So yeah, <clears throat> very nice on that. And then. Shin is up next. We have his passive key barrier getting a buff, I believe. Yes. Uh, so the flat damage, the shield strength on this was uh, 47 to 101 based on level. Now it's 47 to 120. So nice little buff there, especially late game, but it uh, it's based on level, so it, it happens throughout the, uh, your levels as well. Pretty much at every rank past the level, past level one, yours is just going to be stronger um, slightly. And then it's also getting a plus one percent bonus AP. Uh, added on top of the previous, so it was 12% bonus AP scaling, now it's 13%, which is super nice. HP, did I say AP? HP, HP. scaling. Yeah. HP, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, I am kind of surprised, or maybe they just didn't mention that it's it doesn't scale with AP, because I know most of his stuff does, but anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, just a <laughs> super nice extra buffs for Shin Passive. Smolder, okay, Smolder is less health so 605 to 575 so more punishable uh early mm -hmm. um for sure um super scorcher breath is q is down five damage at every single rank uh yeah five yeah five damage every rank and then no more than five damage every single rank right uh, five, no, five, no, it's five, five, you're good. Damage. Yeah, okay. yeah. Five damage every single rank. Just flat, then, uh, though, so. Yeah, just the flat damage, not the scaling. And then his W, uh, which I find to be his most annoying ability, um, <laughs> yeah. is going to be nerfed as well. Um, it is down 
what is that? One, five again. Four, yeah. Five. Yeah, so five every single rank, uh, flat. And then the damage it does to minions is also down by weird numbers. Yeah, what the heck? Well, seven? I don't know. Yeah, seven maybe. Every rank, um, I think, yeah. Weird. So, yeah, I think that's fine. I, he's been popping up in, like, solo lanes as well. So I think they just want to make him, like, uh, more dependent on having, like, a support to kind of protect him uh, versus being able to just, like, be self-sufficient, probably. Yeah. Is this, uh, is this... I didn't actually remember this. Um, is this like on top of your flat damage or like your your new damage bit if you're only hitting minions or monsters? I think it's, it's your... more than your regular. Yeah, I think it's I think it's your new damage. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it does more it does more damage when it's minions or monsters, but uh, I forgot about that that interaction. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean down by five damage flat's not a really big deal, honestly, in any of this. Yeah. I think uh, the health is a bigger deal. Like, but if he probably. tries to solo lane early, he like he could probably get like he's gonna lose a lot of one v one trades now, probably. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, but I don't know why. I think it's just a typo because they didn't mention anything up here that I saw. But they they don't have the AP on this part. Uh, but I think, yeah, I I think it's yeah. still there. I think it's a typo. I think it's still there. But, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. Oh wait, no. Hold up. AP ratio removed. Oh, all right. Well, that that's. Kind of a bigger nerf. It's kind of big, but I don't build AP. But I mean, like, for, um, um, obviously it would be, like, if you got, like, a, a Ginsu's or something, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a hybrid item, yeah. 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 But, yeah, inter very interesting. Um, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, Varus is up next. So, we have a Q, Q Piercing Arrow, maximum damage, is getting changed. The flat is unchanged, and then the AP, the AD scaling, uh, or bonus AD scaling, rather, is getting nerfed back a little bit because uh, they did uber buff it last patch as well um so the ad bonus ad scaling was one plus 150 to 190 percent bonus ad based on rank now it's 130 to 170 so it's just down by 20 percent bonus ad scaling at every rank um, which is fine if you consider the previous buffs i believe so uh, but yeah definitely a, a large nerf there as well um <clears throat> E Hail of Arrows is also getting nerfed on the bonus ad scaling um and it's down by 10% from there. So it was 110%. Now it's just regular 100% bonus AD, which is also still a buff because I believe previously it was 90%. So overall, it's it's still a buff from before 1417. But um, yeah, as of, as of now, it's it's definitely a little bit weaker than it was in 1417. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Vi. Vi is getting her Q nerfed from the looks of it. Um, and so Q has two different uh, damages, whether you, like, hit it, it like, the damage gets more uh, the, the longer you go with it, like, the further you channel it. So yep, yep. Um, at the minimum damage, which is if you just, like, click it and hit him right away, uh, it is down by five at every single rank. Um, okay. And at max, um, if you hit a max rank Q, or max, max range Q, it's down by ten at every rank. Um, which... I don't think it's the biggest deal. No, because um, you don't really you don't really spam this out very much. No, no, no. I think it's fine. Um, she's still gonna do the stuff that like people are picking her to do. So I think that damage yeah, is exactly. not gonna be that that big of a deal. Definitely. Um, it's definitely more of like a, a placebo thing or whatever, right? So it's not really yeah. not really that big of a deal, but definitely hurts her a bit. And I know, um, not usually in pro, I would say, but. <laughs> Uh, I know lethality is is pretty popular in her in certain situations, so it'll it'll knock that a little bit more than normal. But um, it's really not that big of a deal either way. So yeah. Uh, Viego, <clears throat> we got a base AD buff here, so it went from uh, 57 base AD to 60, so just a, straight up stronger. And he does use that on, on a lot of things. Uh, obviously his scaling, but also his he auto attacks a crazy amount, so definitely pretty large there. And then. Q, Blade of the Rune King, bonus damage to monsters is 15 instead of 20. So just a little bit less damage to monsters overall. But um, when you have this base AD buff, it should even out pretty well. Uh, I believe that's just like a kind of countermeasure yeah, there. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, so pretty oh. super nice buffs for him, actually. You should do this one, too. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. we got our Zinzao buff. Let's go! Uh, <laughs> finally. Uh 
armor growth on his base stats was 4.7, that's 5.0, so just 0.3 more armor at every rank than previous, um, which is not super big, but it definitely helps him a bit more to be a little bit more tanky. He is relatively squishy if he doesn't build much uh, defensive tools. True, true. And then uh, three, this will also help obviously in the jungle too, but he doesn't really, I mean, no junglers really care about their armor much anymore with the, the heals, but anyways. Um, Q talent, three talent strike, the bonus damage per hit. Um, the flat damage is going up starting at rank two. It was uh, 16 to 52, and now it's 16 to 68, which is actually pretty nice, and you do get three of these. Um, so this is you can take take this uh, buff as like times three. Um, so at rank two it's it's uh, it was 25 and now it's 29. At rank three it's 30 was 34 and now 42. At rank four it was 43 now 55. And then at rank six it was 52 now 68. So at rank five it's um oh, up 16 points and you, that times three is is your extra damage, which is pretty pretty nice. Um, some people say it is his last max ability. Me personally, I go W Q then E uh, because you don't really get much from your E, it doesn't lower your cooldown, and it doesn't lower your, uh, listen, it doesn't do any more, well, it doesn't do more damage, and it increases your attack speed a little bit, but it's not that much, um, so, unless you're building AP. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just a, a really nice buff overall. Um, nothing super crazy, but definitely meaningful, I would say. Um, more the Q probably than, than the armor, I would say, in pers personal, personally. But yeah, super nice for finally getting some, some Zen buffs. <laughs> Nice, yeah. yeah. Um, Zeri, uh, definitely popular pro pick for sure. Yeah. Um, so they are, let's see, they're decreasing her passive damage. Um, it used to be 90 to 200, now it's 75 to 160. Um, and it used to be 1 to 15% of target max self, now it's 1 to 11% target max self. So actually, a good amount of damage that they're kind of stripping away from her passive specifically um which i think is fine um i think she'll still be picked though definitely yeah but, i think so too but definitely yeah. pretty meaningful at least the flat part um i don't really i mean all of it is is meaningful for sure actually i'm not sure exactly what the progression followed stat growth and now it's following now it's linear exactly but uh yeah let's see what Early flat passive damage and backload level scaling as her passive usage in general is more prevalent in mid lane. So I guess uh, removing early flat damage and some backloaded level scaling. So I guess it just doesn't scale scale as well either. I don't know, but yeah, <clears throat> interesting. Definitely definitely hits to her. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might take her out, but I don't I don't think it will. It might take her out if there have been just like Nasus people who played her mid i've been seeing sometimes mm. um so it might make her just like need to be in the bot lane again which I yeah think is fine. probably that would make sense uh okay interesting uh ziggs we got passive short fuse uh increased damage structures uh, was 150 150 percent now it's 75 percent uh it was, just, it was still increased damage so it's not it's 175 bait technically and this was 275 250 um percent of your normal damage um from your passive so yeah uh pretty pretty big big nerf to structure damage but i guess it is was pretty crazy to be honest but it's true it's so, <laughs> so fast i think it's probably fair but it is does feel bad <laughs> yeah for sure so yeah okay interesting i wonder if that makes him just like not really worth it anymore or if, or if it's still fine because he still has the w execute and everything so he does but i feel like he's I feel like that was like the whole reason you picked him basically it was a very large part yeah <laughs> okay uh do you want to start us off with the items yeah let's see what they're doing with the items here so looks like at least with bloodthirster they are giving you more shield strength um it used to be 50 to 400 well actually interesting it's more shield strength levels 8 to 11 so more shield strength early so instead of 50, you got 165. But at max rank, you get 315 instead of 400. I think... I think... I'm yeah, trying to see. Because Seos is levels 8 to 18, and now it's like levels 1 to 18. So I think it's a nerf for sure. Because very few people are getting 
bloodthirst or like crazy one. early. Yeah, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, uh, no one, no one's coming out of fountain with bloodthirst or level no, one. No. Right? So, um, so there you go. And then life seals down three percent. So just a nerf overall to the life seal and shield of bloodthirst. Pretty big. Pretty big. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, Immortal Shield Bow. We've got the Lifeline Shield Strength. Um, was 320 to 720 based on level. Now it's 400 to 700. So slightly nerfed late, but uh, pretty largely... Uh, or not... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty largely buffed early. And then yep. based on level, of course, uh, for melee champions. And then it's also 320 to 560 based on level for ranged champions. So it looks like it's being it's being changed based on if you're IADC or, uh, or like ranged or, or melee. I don't know if that was there before or not, but... I feel like it was, but um, it looks like it's just getting kind of, it's just obviously a lot less for, for ranged champions. Um, and then, yeah, Luden's Companion. Luden's um, Companion. I always forget that's the name of it now. Um, <laughs> yeah. I always want to say Luden's Echo, but Luden's right. uh, Companion yeah, is cheaper <laughs> by 50 gold. Um, you actually get five more ability power, so now it's at 100 ability power but five less ability haste mm. um i guess it's fine yeah i would say a slight nerf but overall it's good yeah it doesn't really matter that much yeah i was gonna say the stats i think you want the haste over this the five extra damage but yeah. for power but it is a bit cheaper but i don't know so i think it's probably just a wash but yeah, yeah. it's about the same overall okay uh, Shadow Flame ability power is going down by 5 AP, uh, up by 3 magic pin, so now it's, tw now it's 15. Um, uh, ability power, of course, was 115. And then max health threshold was 35%, uh, now it's 40%. Okay, nice. And then the pet slash dot damage uh, was 30%, now it's 25%. So note is non pet slash DOT damage is unchanged at 20%. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, I think that's the one that, that that's the one that um, amplifies your damage, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Third level. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of a, I mean, straight up buff, I would say overall. But I guess if you're a, a, a like Brand or a Lilia or, or Zyra or something with Leandries and stuff, that might, um, or Annie, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a slight nerf ish, kind of, but not really. Maybe more of a yeah, balancing. No, I, I think it's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then Storm Surge is... Oh, sorry. That's you. My bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'll just Storm Surge. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> let's see. Magic Pen up by 5. Movement Speed down by 3%. Um, and let me read the next two. Threshold 35 to 25. Squall Range penalty 10%. Now it's removed. Okay. So I think what they're doing is you used to get... Um, thirty-five percent was like the threshold where it would do the it activates like the, the activate, yeah, yeah. The active. Um, but then if it was like if they got too far away from you, it would decrease down to twenty-five percent. That was like the penalty. So now it's just which maybe that was like confusing. So now it's just going to be twenty-five percent all the time. Is that is that what's happening here? Ah, uh, I'm reading it differently, but I don't know. I, I think for ranged champions, it used to be ten percent less damage. Now it's just regular. Mm, but um, I've only ever built this on ranged champions, so I don't know if it has. Yeah, a pretty much. I know Galio sometimes would get sure. it in mid, okay. but that's not often. I that think. makes more sense. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. We'll go with yours. It's weird though, because isn't this um, isn't this uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Like if you do twenty five percent of their max health damage, twenty, yeah, twenty five percent of their max health damage, it, it activates, or is it when they're at twenty five percent health? No, no, no. It's if you do that much. That yeah. much. Okay. So yeah, yeah you have to chunk buff them. them. Yeah, yeah, you have to chunk them for that much of their, so like a quarter now okay. of their life, and then it will do the like zap or whatever. Wow. So yeah, this yeah. is just a straight straight buff basically across yeah. the board. That's pretty crazy. I think the only thing you don't like is the loss of move speed, but I don't think it's like that. I don't big think it's deal. that big of a deal. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's nice. It sucks a little, but yeah. okay. Wow, that's pretty big. Uh, runes. We got fleet footwork uh, getting changed here. So we have the healing. Uh, the flat healing. It was five to hundred to one hundred based on level. Now it's uh, ten to one thirty. So just 
up by five at rank one and then up by 30 at rank, at the final rank. Um, so just straight up buffs there, that's nice. Um, scaling is unchanged. The new thing is healing is 60% effective for ranged users. Okay, so they're making it based on range, uh, whether you're ranged or melee. Uh, um, interesting. So I think it's a nerf for ranged even, technically, right? Because out of 60% of 10 is 4, so it would be less than before. Interesting. Okay, and then minion healing ratio was 20 uh, for melee and 20% or for melee and 10% were ranged. So minion healing ratio. Okay, and now it's 15% for all users. So slight nerf for melee and then a slight buff for ranged, but you still have this nerf, so maybe it evens it out a little bit more. Um, bonus movement speed was 15% for one second. Um, okay, and then now it's 20% uh, for melee and and 15% for ranged for one second, so a little bit buff, more for, more of a buff for uh, for melee there. And then it says note ranged users receive the movement speed bonus at 75% effectiveness. Okay, so I guess you get 75% of of 15% then. It's a little yeah, confusing, but yeah, that's it is. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, we're taking, yeah, that's how I read it. So yeah, they're just buffing it for melees overall, and then it yeah. looks like sl very slight nerfs overall for ranged even more than it was, so. Yeah, which feels bad, but. Yeah, but guess it is what it is. Nasty yeah. mid-bust? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I don't really use it that much to be honest, so I I don't I'm not as tied to this as some people, but definitely hurts a lot of the the inlane sustain for sure. Um, okay, <laughs> turrets. Uh, Last but have... uh, no least, towers here. Yeah. What are they doing at towers? Um, oh, okay. I did hear about this. They are. Um, I did hear about this. Okay. Nice. They're they're trying to make um, it even less likely that you will do a lane swap um okay so they're they're adding now it's wow 85 yeah. percent damage reduction so it's like an insane amount of damage reduction on the towers um and then the amount of uh like as you destroy a plate like the oh the, yeah it, it like so every plate you destroy it gets even it gets 10 more armor mr bonus so yeah um yep, yep. so that's up and then the 22nd bonus, no, just 45, so 20, 45. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, wow. basically, it's all just to make lane swaps essentially almost impossible. Um, yeah. I wonder, I, if, I wonder if they'll stop. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. This is yeah, a little five percent with those. Like you, you could you know, basically you just cannot damage a tower. Yeah, you just do no damage minutes. to it. Basically, it's crazy. Yeah. So wow. I also wonder if it's just gonna like. I wonder if it makes it harder for. So I'm trying to see after watching. Yeah, yeah. So we're making some changes. For bot lane, it should be. Slightly easier, because yeah. this is only for for top and mid towers. That's what I'm. That's what I was making sure. Yeah. So yep, yep. getting top towers will take. Yeah. So top and mid. Uh, good luck before five minutes. So <laughs> if you're swapping up there, you're basically just nerfing yourself a lot. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> the the bot towers are significantly easier to to destroy. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. All right. Well, game bot. Yeah, I do like that this was like. Not as much though, for sure, because yes, it was pretty crazy how much yeah, sure. <laughs> how much it got just from that. Um, okay, it uh, looks like Arium's getting surrender time changed from twelve to eight minutes. That's something to take note of. Uh, that's it though. <laughs> um, what will Arium have its own runes? Interesting. Short answer is no. Okay. <laughs> Short answer <Yeah>. though. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna they're gonna modify the. Uh, the runes as well. I like a balance runes out for Aram. That'd be crazy. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah. Um, new player experience changes. Uh, following a council start to rule out to spe 
sorry, changes will start to roll out to specific regions with patch 14, 18, and only impact new players, aka accounts that have played five or fewer non-co-op versus AI games of League, okay? During a player's first few games, new players might see bots. Don't worry, they're the good kind in their non-ranked games. These bots will adapt to their skill, providing a more gradual on-ramp to League of Legends. Players will only see these bots in their first few games of normal queue. Uh, players will not encounter them in any queue after their first few normal games. Interesting. Established players of League won't see any changes unless they queue with a new player. Our goal is to improve the learning process and help new players learn and discover the fun that League has to offer. That's pretty cool, I think. Better than like playing against Smurfs and stuff, maybe. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Or like level twelve players, so I think that's that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. It so think, sounds good. I think it's fine. I it sounds practice, good. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Sometimes stuff sounds good, and then I'm like, oh wait, never mind. But yeah. I, I yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm we gotta. To... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I was, I'm trying. I think it's good. I, I feel like it's good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. Uh, we got Janet the Thresh obviously here. Um, we also have Attorney Azir, and nice. all his spectacle glory. Nice. The the uh, the spear or whatever the staff looks pretty nice actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's At least cool. in the splash there. And then we got. Oh, you Chris... see, uh, do you see in that in that other one, uh, Corporate so... Mundus in the background? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, back. I saw that. Over there. Oh no, 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 the other one, the zero one. Oh, is he? Yeah, look, look uh, in the audience. Like, oh yeah, right yeah? there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There he is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a bunch of the people actually there. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, I think we're good. Shark! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know about in-game, but obviously the splashes look pretty nice here, not gonna lie. Yeah, and all of them super cool. So. Yeah. I actually just uh, watched a video that came up on my um, my YouTube, like, recommended or whatever, and it was, um, it was like, League champions on Summoner's Rift, but in their actual size, and it kind of kept going bigger and bigger. It had like a Relian Soul be like as large as the ma like way larger than the map, and then Bard was humongous, but like Nautilus like came out of the river and he was like he was like swimming in the river. It was crazy. He was huge. But uh, That's yeah, weird. yeah, he's supposed to be like gigantic. So yeah, Gallia was big, big and stuff like that too. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you for joining me, Drew, and yeah. thank you guys for watching. And I think we'll we'll catch you in patch fourteen eighteen. Have fun at Worlds, and uh, all that stuff. We'll probably see you before then, though. <laughs> all right, peace.